Good evening, fam. Today, I went on a little adventure. I went up to visit Bob Gretsch so we can run some of my rolling stock on his early 1930s theme, Western Pacific Layout. Now, to have a little fun, not only did I bring some 40-foot high cube boxcars, but I brought this. Let me turn the camera around. <laughs> I brought my Tangent Scale Models, Southern Pacific, Thrall 86-foot high cube boxcar to run on an early 1930s theme model railroad. It was fun, little tongue-in-cheek, but we ran it. Uh, there were a couple places where the uh, turns were a little too tight and there were some derailments, but I got to run it and I got to run some of my 40-foot uh, high cube boxcars, which ran well. I also pulled with my um, uh, the Thern Genesis GP38-2. So that was fun, as you'll see in the video. Now, let me bring in another train. Bob is a master scratch builder, and he is excellent at weathering models. So he, I brought this model, not for him to weather, I just brought it to run it. But he goes, here, let me see that. So here, let me uh, get a little better camera shot here. So he's like, hi, oh, he takes it from me. And the first thing he does, because I already did some weathering on this. And the first thing he does is he pulls out a soldering iron. So let me bring that closer so you can see. He uses the soldering iron on the uh, edge of the, um, of the um, gondola there. And I'm, first I'm like, soldering iron. But uh, I knew what he was going to do. And it produced a really great effect. As you can see and then he also did a little more of the um, adult coat and IPA that's that's a little thing what he did was let me turn it around and he uh, kind of cleared this section up and he, he, he put 90% IPA on there because they still had dull coat then he pulled his finger down and it made it a nice uh, kind of uh, not a whitewash but a nice look to it so yeah, he did some things. Oh, and then he did on the, uh, as you can see on the, um, the edges, he took a weathering powder. So he had this rust amber, burnt umber uh, uh, powder. He, he put it in a, a drop of IPA, 90% IPA, and then he painted it on. And at first it was a really bright rust color. But then, uh, oops, but then as the, um, as it dried, dried very quickly because of the 90% IPA, it uh, it muted. And then he took uh, some oil-based silver paint. He dry brushed it. He got the brush really dry, and he just went in and got highlights on it, and it made it come out really great. And then he uh, also did the um, did some of those silver. Oh, sorry, my hands aren't steady. He did some of the silver highlights on the uh, on the uh, grab irons there. He did a little on the trucks there to bring out some detail. And he also on the couplers, he, they weren't centering correctly. But what he did is he filed a little bit of the shank on the coupler because there's some burrs on there, and that made them properly spring and center properly. So I did some work on that. And then he used those same, um, that same weathering power, powder and alcohol mix and he put it on the wheels. And it came out really nice. So I was very happy with it. And thank you, Bob, for uh, taking some time to do some uh, uh, basic weathering of my car. So I was very happy about that. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention, Bob's layout is featured again in the pages of Model Railroader. This time, it's in the 25, 2025 edition of Great Model Railroads. And so, check it out. Uh, I think you can. Uh, I think you can get those at Barnes and Noble. You can also order from the uh, uh, from uh, Comeback. I don't think they're Comeback anymore, but you can order from there. But uh, yeah, check it out. So let's get to me running my humongous 80 foot box, 86 foot box car on a early 1930s theme model railroad where 40 foot, 40 foot box cars rule.
Hi, I'm here at Bob Gretsch's Western Pacific layout set in the early 1930s. So Bob graciously let me come over and run some of my rolling stock and I thought what would be more than appropriate for an early 1930s layout where the typical boxcar length is 40 feet. What I did is I brought my tangent scale models Southern Pacific 86 foot Thrall high cube boxcar. Okay. Cool.
Thank you. 